Hey, what's up? Uh, let's go over how to draw Sonic the Werehog. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is a great franchise, and uh, Sonic the Werehog is a pretty cool character. Um, so let's go over how to draw him, okay? It's going to be step by step and for beginners. <coughs> First thing I'm going to do here is go to his face, and I'm going to draw kind of like that underside of his brow. It's the top part of his eye. Pulling up inward as he kind of makes an angry face. Line here for the other side of the brow. Up. Up over here. Curve. I'm gonna go over here for the nose. And it's gonna be more or less like a dot between that, like a long dot. Maybe even a little bit bigger than that. Curve on the left. Go over here and I'm going to have a curve on the right here. This is the front of the nose, right? I'm going to pull over here a curve on this side of the eye and this side of the eye right now. So I'm gonna, I'll start with this side on the left. Curve down. Go over here on this side. Curve down. Out. Down. Out. Down. All right. Gonna go over here to the mouth, and I am going to pull kind of a Almost like a happy face line, but it's going to pull downward. Before anything else, on this happy face line, I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go to the eye really fast. So the eye is going to be like a U shape here for one eye. Draw the pupil and dot right there. Curve down. Curve down here. Same thing. He's got that angry look. I'm going to draw the teeth coming out of his mouth, so he's going to have sharp teeth. Like that. Uh, let's just say like one over here, and then let's more teeth over here coming out, like these sharp teeth. Going to have a curved line here for the center, you know, uh, it's going to be his tongue sticking out the center. Go over here, curve up, curve up. And I'm gonna draw a line around here, like around the mouth here for the rest of the lower mouth. It's gonna be pretty close to that. <clears throat> you know, I never finished this game. I wanted to, it was just kinda long, honestly, I thought. Go over here, out, curve in. It's gonna be for the brow. Over here on this side for the brow on this side. Go draw the ear behind that brow, and the, the ear is going to be this kind of like, uh, you know, triangular shape the way it is, but it's going to be up a little bit. Up here, pull down, curve. I'm going to go over here on this side, up here, curve down, over here. Down over here for the inside of the ear. So they look kind of like horns, right? They try to make them look a little devilish. And we're going to go over here and pull that, the large spike. So I'm going to pull this here. See, like a curve for the top of his head. But it's going to run into, you know, his ear over there. It's going to keep going, though, behind it. Up. Down. Up. All right. So far, so good, right? Maybe down here for some hair on this side. But we're going to draw his arm and his arm is going to be coming forward at us. Before we do that though, I'm going to draw his hand before his arm because the hand's going to be like in our face. So I want to draw his hand first and then connect it back to the body. So I'm just going to pick a floating space out here. Curve in for a nail. You know, put the inside of the nail here. The finger that the nail's attached to over here, up. And right here at the, finger, at the rest of the finger. So that's a thumb. 
I'm gonna go over here on this side. Curve over here for the finger. In. Up. Curve in. Up. Curve in. Curve in. So that's going to be the pointer finger. Almost like he's grabbing like sushi or something. Like, And then his other finger behind it. Let's just say like the middle finger. is going to be the exact same thing. It's going to be that nail with this, you know, the rest of the finger. Same thing on the inside here. A nail. And then the finger that's attached to that nail. And you can kind of do that right, you know, so you, know, you have all the fingers. Over here. Let's go over here for the palm. The palm inside, it might just look like a bunch of sausages right there, grabbing. Um, the palm on the inside is curve, curve. He's got like, you know, normally he has like, um, how do you say it? Like the gloves on, right? And he has the tassels to the, he has the edges to the gloves, but it's not going to be that this time. This time's going to be fur, because he's like a werewolf thing. Right there, it's going to be furry. And then over here, same thing, it's furry, but like longer, like ridges on that end, because it's hanging off. Go over here, I'm going to draw the arm, so anywhere, I don't know, pick this point, and I'm going to curve in to that shoulder. Over here on this side, pull in as well, so that's like the lower armpit. Let's draw... Curve underneath. Go over here to his stomach. Down. Maybe like some hair on his chest here. And I'm gonna now I'm really gonna draw a stomach, so right here. And then that stomach has a discoloration still, right? The way Sonic does. Down here for the leg. Up, the leg is still a tube. Legs are uh, his legs are always been tubes. Out here, same thing, bent tube. Go over here on this side, curve down for the other arm. Just drawing the arm out there. Before I do that, I'm gonna draw the other hand. So I'm gonna go over here, curve down, up, up here, out, down. It's gonna be the thumb on this far end. This one's smaller because it's farther back. This one's supposed to be in our face. Out over here, down, curve in for the pointer. If you need reference for hands, you could always look at your own hands and kind of have an idea that uh, you know where things bend. Down over here, curve in. Down over here, curve in. Down over here, curve in. Right bump bump because you have the palm and the other part of the palm same thing on this side after that you could always kind of draw the thin line of the nail sticking onto the hand over here pulling down down over here the sock and he's got the that ridge to the sock, right, in his shoe. Same thing over here, curve. And it's just like this zigzagging shape, real easy. Lastly, let's hit the shoes. The shoes are it's kind of this point, and then bump down, down over here. Over here, curve down, and then pull back on the bottom of the shoe. Same thing on this side, pull down, bump here for kind of where the heel is, right here, the top of the foot, out, down, in. And then we're going to throw little spikes, which are just little triangles at the end of it. He's got these cleats on. Going to pull in. Curve up, 
over here in over here in right here for the you know how sonic has a line on top of his shoe and uh the bottom to separate the sole of the shoe and then these also have like these spikes in the top which are basically just triangles that's all they are the last thing i want to do here is i want to well i forgot about this he's got a little uh color change here and you can kind of put that in there the last thing I want to do here is I want to put a thick line around the entire contour. I want to put a thick uh, line around the contour of, of him. So over here, meaning contour is just the outer edge of something. And uh, I'm going to go over here. See, just drawing a line completely on the outer edge. He just is completely putting it on the outer edge. Right here. And it might be a little bit of a daunting task, but you know, don't worry about it. You can take your time. This is like the easy part. Don't forget hit the like button if you like, um, you know, this subject matter or anything about this. Uh, you can draw, you know, like I said, Sonic the Werehog anytime you want or anything like that. If there's any other characters from maybe the Sonic universe you want me to draw, I can do that. Just you have to let me know and I will make it happen. continuing right all I'm doing is putting a thicker line on the outer edge and it kind of makes it look like a sticker in a way Whew. Uh, you may be able to throw like a thinner line there thank you so much I appreciate it uh, if you enjoyed that please let me know what you think in the comments say hi to me if you can hear my voice right now say hi in the comments and I'm gonna reply back to you okay talk to you later and I'll see you soon So if you're looking to upgrade your art skill overall, I highly, highly recommend you check out my Skillshare. It's also completely for beginners. The biggest difference is these are hour long courses on drawing, like I said. So if you're starting out, this is perfect for you as well. It's just that I take longer on each particular topic to really ingrain it in you. And this is how people fully level up their art skill uh, if you're serious about it. Um, so like I said, I have things here on the basics of drawing. I have the, the anatomy, I go over uh, anime as well. I go over cartoons as well here. I go over drawing basics. Uh, also fantasy art topics like dragons and things of that sort. There's a dragon drawing video here. Um, this is like pretty much the mecca for stuff like this. What you should do as well, normally this stuff is like $40, right? The, the whole website, but go to the link in the description of the YouTube video you're watching right now. Go down, check out the link with the hearts on it. Uh, right below that, click that link for Skillshare. And that will give you at least the first, uh, I think the first 100, 100 people, it's going to give you a free month of Skillshare. So basically you can see everything on this thing completely for free for a month uh, without paying anything. So that's what's cool about it. So like I said, this is only for the, you know, people that are very, very, you know, they really want to do this and they really want to put a lot of time into this. Go check this out. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.